Welcome back. Well, it's a balmy February day today. It's almost spring-like, so getting excited for camping. I'm actually doing a winter camping trip in the next week or so, so it's uh, a bit surreal. The snow is melting out. I have no idea what I'm going to encounter. But uh, today, what I'm actually doing is I'm introducing you to my new SUV. Well, new to me, it's not new. So it's a 2020 RAV4 and it's an XSE trim line with the tech package. So it's pretty awesome. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, I've seen a lot of people that are tricking these things out for car camping. So I figured uh, let's just see what I can manage today and uh, have some fun with it. So let's check it out. So it is actually quite nice. I have to put a club on it because these things are very stolen vehicles in our area. Um, so uh, it's got some leather seats with this tech package. And uh, these seats fold down. This is where the dog hangs out in his little uh, area. But we'll be folding this down because uh, I want to see if I can get a bed uh, made up in here. Take a look at my cute little car plant. Uh, it's a little macrame holder and then this is actually uh, from a fabric artist who did the bleeding heart plant. I think it's so cool. So uh, yeah I got a few things also from the dollar store um, to get all set up today. So um, I've also got um, a little awning for the back too. We're gonna check that out and see um, you know if we can trick this out for camping. So it's pretty roomy here in the trunk and these seats fold down 60-40 or also 100%. Um, this is really neat. This is, um, I don't know if you guys knew this, if you guys have RAV4s, but this little part right here um, lifts up. Obviously, there's a tire and more storage in here. Um, this is the fabric part of the base of the trunk, but you can flip it around and you get this plastic. So that way, you know, you can load your gear in here, not scratch everything up or mess up the fabric. So yeah, just, uh, it comes like this way and then you just basically take it out, flip it around and you can put it uh, with this plastic part down, which I think is pretty awesome. So uh, let's just take a look at what my um, my little awning's gonna look like. So I picked this up from Princess Auto. It's called Right Line Gear SUV Tailgating Canopy. Um, so what it does, it shades a cargo area like that, and it uh, looks like that. So once you're out camping, you have a spot to sit, have your lunch, hang out. So I'll just show you. So that's kind of the idea right there. Um, or you know, you're at a little farmers market, or you know. Royce and I go to dog shows, so that'll shield us from the blazing sun. Uh, or if, yeah, if you go uh, just pull up by the shoreline, do some fishing, sit in the shade, have a good time. So um, that's how it's going to get set up. So it kind of goes uh, through your tailgate there, and uh, the little awning goes like so. And then this down here, the little sandbags, so we'll have to fill those up with sand. I'll need a little bit more storage space for the camping trip coming up. So uh, this rhino rack uh, goes on top of the, uh, the SUV. It's got decent storage in there for camping gear and everything and just you know especially if you're going to be sleeping in the back of the SUV you want a place for your stuff you know so this is going to be awesome and it's got some locks there and stuff like that. All right so I've got it all up but it's taken me a little bit of time to do it but it looks pretty good. So it is sort of waterproof uh, quite a lot of real estate here actually underneath this thing so this will be great um, down here so down here we have i need to fill these up these are sandbags so the sandbags go around these little poles here so that they don't go anywhere uh, when you got things set up but yeah i think this is pretty cool also shades the cargo area here so yeah this is uh, step one so i will have a little shaded area to hang out in when i do my car camping it's extremely windy here today and uh, this tent's actually not doing too bad of a job. The other thing that I think is a real necessity is this blanket right here. It stretches over the entire car and uh, it reflects the sunlight. So um, if you're doing dog shows, you're going camping, you're sleeping in your car and it's like blazing hot sun, uh, this going over the car definitely makes a huge difference with the temperature inside the vehicle. You can buy these online. It's just like this metal fabric really that you can kind of see through, but it's a great shade uh, and it cools down vehicles. Step two, let's uh, work on the back here and see if I can make a bed out of the uh, back of the SUV here. All right, so step one, I've taken out the dog blanket and I'm just gonna lower the seats here. In the seats you'll see I've got some good storage areas. I've got some storage bins and some bags there with gear. So you can kind of put uh, things you want for camping right in here. I like to hang stuff off of the back seats for things I need. So I bought these little things uh, from the dollar store and they twirl around like this. You can kind of hang your bags um or your gear so this is what they're called uh, the pro auto metal hanger hooks and about a buck 50 for two so i got two for each seat and i got one of these little travel bags again for about two dollars and then you can kind of hang it off the back seat you know you can put your charge cables your phone all this kind of stuff back here um, so you have access to it when you're in the car 
and I also picked up uh, from Amazon uh, these Remotech uh, screen screens to cover my windows, so I can, uh, if I'm car camping, I can uh, leave the windows down, but the bugs can't get in. Let's uh, let's try them out. That worked pretty well. So as you can see, that window is actually halfway up, but it's all screen, and this window right here is completely down. So this is just screen. They just kind of like a sock. They just go over the door. Once you uh, you can open and close the window still if you want, but if you want a nice breeze. This is what they're for. So this goes over the back windows. I didn't order anything for the front ones, but you may only need the back windows open for a breeze. So I think these are, this is a cool purchase if you're doing car camping. I think this is totally worth it. These little hooks are great. You can put your bags, your gear bags, stuff like that right there. I've even seen sort of over the back seat um, organizers that have that mole with the Velcro and stuff. So that might be something I buy as well. Maybe for this one and the other one I have the hooks. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Let me know what you guys think. All right, let's sort of figure out this bed situation. So you can see I moved this chair as far forward as I could. If you're really tall, um, you can, like, I've seen people put, like, totes right here to elevate this a bit um, so that when you put in your bed, it's, like, more level. Uh, so let's see what I can come up with. This whole video of Voris has been freaking out that uh, I'm leaving, going camping without him. <laughs> so, yeah, my current challenge uh, is trying to find something for in here. But take a look. I've gotten uh, out a little foamy. About, I don't know, an inch and a half or so and my sleeping bag. So that seems to work. Let's see if I fit. And I fit just fine, actually. So, yeah, I fit like I'm about five, seven-ish or so. Um, so I fit pretty much exactly without altering uh, and putting stuff behind that seat. But um, I think I'm going to have to go to Walmart or something and find like a, a storage container and kind of tuck it back behind there so I have that little bit of extra room like if I wanted to slide back or whatever. Uh, it's actually pretty comfy. Got my little light in here and I can actually turn that off so I don't drain the battery or whatever. But uh, yeah, there we go. And I've got the sunroof. <laughs> well, that's my uh, crossbar up there, so ignore that, but it's another place where I can get a good breeze. Yeah, and that's what it looks like uh, through those little mesh windows. So I think that's gonna be a great addition. So I'm actually left with quite a little bit of room here to kind of make more little storage containers and stuff like that for car camping. Now you gotta keep in mind, you gotta have a place to store all this stuff at the end of the day. So, I mean, this little foamy rolls up, you know, I can kind of put it all in the back seat or put it up in the rhino rack. Um, but I mean, this car has some pretty good little storage areas and little corners and stuff like that for gear. Um, you know, I could probably get something like a little net for over my head or whatever. Uh, for lighting, what I can use is I got those little Christmas lights from the cabin from Amazon. They're solar power. So I can even set up that little solar thing and I can kind of string all the little lights up in here. Um, so when it gets dark out, it's always lit up and I can turn it off if I want. Um, so I might actually, you know, go on Amazon and get a few more things to do this, but I think this is going to be doable. Um, it's, uh, cars are expensive these days, so you might as well be able to live in one or camp out of one and get a dual purpose for your vehicle. Um, one thing I like about the RAVs is they do have, um, you know, little power sources back here as well. Uh, a little 12 volt power. Um, so that's great. This is a hybrid actually. I did not mention that's a hybrid. Uh, I get about 7.1 liters per 100 kilometers. Um, that's highway and city combined. So it's actually better than my little hatchback, um, my, which is manual transmission, obviously. This is automatic. Um, so it's pretty good. So I think this is going to work. Um, I also probably want to get some more shades for privacy uh, for it. I do have one. So I do have one right in here. It's a shade, but it's also for privacy as well. So yeah, a few more things, um, you know, to make this little car camping thing work. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys done this before. Things I should get. Put some links below down in the comments. Uh, I want to make this a really fun uh, thing. Another thing to try out. And uh, we'll go from there. Alright. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.